Russia's Prime Minister Vladimir Putin has cautioned against outside intervention in the Syrian conflict and warned there was a risk of behaving like a bull in a china shop. But Moscow calls on world powers to use their political clout to put pressure on both the Syrian government and the opposition to lay down their arms and engage in talks. Artis Alina Galushka has more on this. In light of the ongoing diplomatic wranglings about the situation in Syria, Russian Prime Minister Vladimir Putin said that uh, Syrians must be allowed to solve the situation in their country on their own. Russian Prime Minister speaking during a meeting with the religious leaders have warned against any possible uh, foreign military involvement in the country, saying that such scenario would be akin to a proverbial bull in the china shop, Prime Minister. Uh, reminded about the situation in Libya where a NATO-led invasion led to an escalation of violence. The situation continues to remain, quite, uh, to remain quite unstable and violent. Russia is calling on international, uh, on international uh, pressure on all parties involved in the Syrian conflict in order to resolve the, the situation diplomatically, whereas Western powers such as the UK, the United States and France uh, want President Assad to step down. They want him out of the picture. And this this is where, again, main, dis uh, main disagreements between Moscow and the West are coming from. Russia is taking practical steps in trying to solve the, uh, the situation in Syria. On Tuesday, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, as part of a Russian delegation to Damascus, met with the Syrian President Bashar al-Assad. Coming out of those talks, uh, Russia's Foreign Minister said that the Syrian President is ready to set down for a dialogue with the opposition. Senior member of the opposition Syrian National Council has welcomed Russia's role as a mediator in the peace process. And commenting on his visit to Damascus on Wednesday, uh, Lavrov encouraged uh, uh, other uh, members of the international community to put more pressure on all sides involved in the Syrian conflict in order to bring peace to the country. We we have suggested that certain parties capable of influencing the opposition groups, especially those based outside Syria, try to convince those groups to begin negotiations. Parties with influence on Damascus have been trying to convince the authorities to do the same. As I have mentioned, the Syrian authorities confirm they are ready to begin negotiations without putting forward any conditions. But instead of putting pressure on the opposition, uh, most of the world community seems to be pulling out its envoys uh, from Syria. France, Italy and Spain are among the latest countries to have recalled their ambassadors to Syria. There are also the Gulf nations, which have not just recalled their envoys to the country, but have sent out Syrian ambassadors from their respective countries, thereby effectively ending diplomatic relations with Damascus. Anti-acid rhetoric has also continued to come from the United States, uh, where, the, the, where the White House has essentially said that the uh, Syrian president's days are numbered. And at the same time, the Pentagon has said that they are looking at ways to support um, the uh, rebels uh, fighting against uh, the regime of President Assad, although not militarily for now.